going to do down below is I'm actually going to go through a few examples of solving simultaneous equations uh, with you here. So, uh, and finding points of intersection actually is probably more important here. So we're going to find this, the points of intersection using uh, these two methods. So here, so example one, sketch y is equal to x squared and y is equal to 1 on the same set of axes, and hence solve x squared is equal to 1 graphically. Now, if you have a look, we have two equations here. We've got y is equal to x squared, so I'm going to write underneath y is equal to x squared, that's our equation number 1, and we've got y is equal to 1 over here. Those are our two equations. We can actually solve this um, using simultaneous equations. I'm going to do it quickly here. So I've got my two equations. If you notice, y is already a subject, so I'm going to use the substitution method and go 1 is equal to 2. So I'm going to equate the two. So I'm going to have x squared is equal to 1. And so last term when we had a look at solving these types of equations, what you need to note is that we go x is equal to, because we're solving for a square, we have plus or minus square root of 1. So x is equal to plus or minus 1. And so once I've got this, all I need to do is substitute it back into my original equation. Now, if you have a look, I can sub them both into the second equation, and they'll actually end up giving me the same result. Here, I'm going to have x is equal to 1, y is equal to 1, because of this second equation over here. I'm going to just highlight this one. Notice this one doesn't have any x values, so if I substitute those x values back in, it won't actually change the y value. And the other one, equa solution is going to be x is equal to minus 1, and y is equal to 1. Now, if we want to find the points of intersection, what this would actually look like is the points of intersection are, so based on this first solution, the points of intersection is 1, 1, and our second point of intersection is negative 1, 1. So that's what, how we actually connect the two. So when we solved it simultaneously, we can actually use those solutions to help me find the points of intersection. But here they actually ask us to sketch it on the same set of axes and then solve it to find these same sets. Of solution. So let me just actually do that on the side here. I'm going to draw my Cartesian plane. So I've got here my Cartesian plane. I've got y, x. I'm going to draw on my two graphs here. The first one is y is equal to x squared. Y is equal to x squared, if you remember, it looks like our basic little parabola. So I've got whoop. Oop, I'm going to try it again. Sorry. So I've got my parabola and it looks something like this. So this is y is equal to x squared. Just a very rough sketch here. Now that I've done that, I'm also going to sketch onto my same Cartesian plane, y is equal to 1. Now, y is equal to 1, if you remember, we had a look at this when we were looking at linear functions. But this is basically the line where every value for, um, if you have a look, there's every value for y is going to be 1. And it doesn't matter. So what you notice here is that there's no x values in, involved in this equation. So what it's going to look like, it's actually going to look like a straight horizontal line at y is equal to 1. Now, if you graph this accurately, what you'll notice is that it has two points of intersection. I actually, unfortunately have not graphed it very accurately. And these happen when x is equal to 1, y is equal to 1, and x is equal to minus 1, y is equal to 1. And these correspond to the solutions that we got when we solved our graphs when we solved these two equations simultaneously. So here, when we solve it, we end up getting these two, val two, uh, what's it called? two points of intersection. So that's this first example here. Okay, I'm going to go 